where to file ISF for hand and foot warmers. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be talking about where to file an importer security filing ISF, for hand and foot warmers. If you're an importer or someone interested in the customs brokerage process, this video is for you. So let's dive right in. When it comes to filing an ISF for hand and foot warmers, there are a few options available to you. The first option is to file the ISF yourself electronically through the Automated Broker Interface ABI, system. This requires you to have a customs bond and a valid ACE Automated Commercial Environment portal account. By filing the ISF on your own, you have full control over the process and can ensure that all the necessary information is submitted accurately. The second option is to hire a customs broker to handle the ISF filing for you. A customs broker is a licensed professional who specializes in customs regulations and procedures. They have the expertise and knowledge to navigate the complexities of the customs brokerage process. Hiring a customs broker can save you time and effort, as they will handle all the paperwork and ensure compliance with customs requirements. Now, let's talk about the importance of having a customs bond when filing an ISF. A customs bond is a financial guarantee between three parties, the importer, the surety company, and U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP. It ensures that the importer will comply with customs regulations and fulfill any financial obligations, such as paying duties and taxes. When filing an ISF, the customs bond serves as a security measure for CBP. It provides assurance that the importer will follow all customs rules and regulations. Without a customs bond, the ISF filing may be rejected, and your shipment could face delays or even be denied entry into the United States. Now, let's address the question of where to file the ISF for hand and foot warmers specifically. The ISF should be filed before the goods depart from the foreign port of loading. It is typically filed by the carrier or the agent representing the carrier. The ISF filing details, including the ISF importer number, must be provided to the carrier well in advance to ensure a smooth process and avoid any penalties or fines. It's important to note that the ISF filing requirements can vary depending on the specific circumstances and the carrier involved. Therefore, it is recommended to consult with your customs broker or shipping agent to determine the exact ISF filing process for hand and foot warmers. In conclusion, when it comes to filing an ISF for hand and foot warmers, you have the option to file it yourself electronically or hire a customs broker. Remember that having a customs bond is crucial in the ISF filing process. Ensure that the ISF is filed before the goods depart from the foreign port of loading and consult with your customs broker or shipping agent for specific requirements. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found the information about filing an ISF for hand and foot warmers helpful. If you have any further questions or topics you would like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Video disclaimer below. Until next time, take care and see you soon.